how BMW plans to build its factories more quickly, when production is scheduled to start for the new Lotus Amea, and what five cars caught our eye at the IAA Mobility Show in Munich. Good morning, I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Welcome to First Shift. More on those stories in a moment, but first, Ford's Maverick small fuel efficient pickups popularity may turn into an inspiration for Toyota to downsize its trucks. Toyota's brand head says Toyota's dealers have been asking for a compact pickup for a while. He also said fielding such a product would potentially assist Toyota's corporate average fuel economy metrics and says it's an idea Toyota has looked into. BMW is working on building its factories faster. According to the automaker's production boss, BMW plans to slash the time it takes to build a new factory by 30 to 40 percent. He went on to say if BMW can reduce the planning portion of a project from 24 to 12 months, it will allow a plant to be built in two years instead of three. BMW says it also plans to partner with chipmaker NVIDIA to plan real-world factories in a virtual world. According to industry experts, bringing factories online faster reduces costs and increases automakers' flexibility in meeting market demands. Auto dealers, listen up. In relation to the Inflation Reduction Act's section on credit for new EV purchases and the consumer incentive for used EVs, the U.S. Treasury says in January dealerships can submit new and used EV sales information to the IRS to receive payments for transferred tax credits. It also says starting in January, consumers will be able to transfer EV tax credits of up to $7,500 to dealers at the point of sale, so those funds can be applied to the down payment. The U.S. Treasury says it plans to issue more guidance on the Act's EV tax credits by December 31st. If you have a need for speed, check out the new Lotus Amea. According to the automaker, the large sedan is one of the fastest electric GT cars in the world. It went on to say thanks to its dual electric motors, it can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. And when it comes to charging, the company says the car can charge at speeds of up to 350 kilowatts, which means it can add 93 miles of range in about 5 minutes. Lotus says production of the car will start in 2024, with pricing also scheduled to be revealed around that time. The IAA Mobility Show in Munich is an exciting time for many as automakers debut their European expansions. And out of all the reveals that took place, the five cars that caught our eye include the Mercedes Concept CLA, VW IDG TI, BMW Vision BYD CLU, and the Avatar 12. Details on the vehicles and the IAA Mobility Show can be found on our website, autonews.com. Thanks for watching. For breaking news, stay with autonews.com. Have a great day. Climate change is here. It is terrifying and it is just the beginning. The era of global warming has ended. The era of global boiling has arrived. The auto industry's shift to carbon neutrality is here and it's accelerating. But is it enough? Driving to Zero is a new podcast series from Automotive News that looks at the auto industry's roadmap to carbon neutrality. We take a big picture look at the environmental, political, and social trends pushing the move toward a greener future. And we pull back the curtain on how these decisions are being made at the highest levels. I'm Jake Neer. Join me and Automotive News Executive Editor Jamie Butters on Driving to Zero, available wherever you get your podcasts starting September 11th.